Ooh. Ah, I think this might be all right here. That rod's got some nice action. It does. Look at that. Yep. What do we got oh, here? Oh, that's a nice one. I'm going even help you. Look, look at, at that. that. Hey, it's Walt, Bob, and Carl from Custom Jigs and Spins. And hey, we're out in Hayward. Hayward, Wisconsin, doing a little bluegill fishing. We've got some lures to try. We've got some fun to have. And stay tuned for some fish catching action. Oh, I got him. I got yours. No, you don't. I got mine. Oh, I got yours. No, this is different. This is a double? No, here's mine. You got that? Yep. Look at We got each other. No, you don't. You put, he, he, he grabbed my jig. We double whammy. He liked the custom jig so much. He cried. <laughs> he ate my my moon, <laughs> and then he came over and ate mine. Well, probably he ate yours first because you're such a slow hook set. Oh, that's that's not no, that's not true. Though mine was in the first. Yeah, that's right. It's dug in there. Yeah, if, yeah. You need a, if you need a hook out, then I've got the hook out, and I'm not going to give it to you now because you're mean. Same color though, orange. Yeah, orange. orange head. I guess they're hitting orange. Now that's something that you don't see every time. Two lures in the mouth at the same time. I can't even believe it to tell you the truth. Hello! No. It's okay, Check. I come in for fishing. Not unless you brought the new jigs you promised me. New jigs! <gasps> Check. I'll be right back. Man, he's quick when he's motivated. What colors you want? Just make the jigs. Just make jigs! Just make jigs! Just make jigs! Mr. Bob! Mr. Bob! I got jigs! I got jigs! Nice! What's it called? Tutso. Tutso? I'll go fish over there. Always bridesmaid, never the brother. Every time you do that, I can't catch a fish. I know, but hey, you can catch a fish. Oh, look at him sneaking through. A little sneaker. Oh, yeah. Look at him. Grab that Tutso right there. If you don't think you can catch a fish on plastic, don't be afraid to put a little wax worm on there too. Then you get them the double whammy. And then when they're going good, then you really don't need the wax worm. And another thing about the, the what's nice about the Tutso is some of those those little small lead heads, they'll 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 try to be like this. Here we go. You know, that's no good. There you we want go. that you want that guy to be balanced like that one right there. So there you go, you got a perfectly horizontal presentation, a little plastic for color, a little meat for a for meat. Watch him. Oh, look at that. That's a nice one. Another nice gill. There you go. A nice gill's out here. Cut this one all by myself, Walt. Did you? Yep. Like a grown man. Look at that, Walt. Perfect hook set right at the top of the mouth. Right. That's how you're supposed Just to do Just the it. orange clown tutso. Yep. No meat. No meat. No meat. Another one. Another one. Black. On the black. Yeah. Oh, you just retied that one. I huh? did. I upsized a little bit. Upsized. See if I can maybe get, you know, tracks a little bit bigger fish. And, and it is a little yes. bit bigger fish. A little yes. bit bigger fish. Yep. So we're fishing today with the Tutsos. And basically it's a tungsten ratso. Got a little attitude to it. Gets down quick. Gets you to the fish zone. <laughs> you know, we're obviously, we're sitting on a crib that Matt put us on. And we got two bluegills. But I've been catching these smaller ones here. And mostly because I've got this smaller bait that these smaller fish like. Now, Carl switched over to this larger, you know, the size difference. It doesn't look a whole, it's, it's, it's a big difference to the fish. That smaller bait is gonna attract these smaller fish and that larger one is gonna keep them off. That's why I like to have a couple rods rigged with different size baits to selectively target the larger fish. As Carl's done. I tried. Hey, let's take a look at some of these new Tutsos that we've got here. Basically what we've got, the Tutso is, it's a tungsten version of our very popular Ratso, which has been a bucket filler for years. We've got three sizes of them, they go by the hook size. So we've got a number 10 hook, we've got a number 8 hook, and we've got a number 6 hook. Number 10, that's about a 40th of an ounce, so that's nearly twice as heavy as your standard Ratso. That's going to give you a tighter line when you're fishing, and it's going to go a little bit deeper and get down quicker. So we've got a size 10 that's a 40th of an ounce, we've got a size 8, that is a uh, 25th of an ounce, and we got the size six, the big one, which is a uh, 14th of an ounce. We've got these eight crazy colors here that we haven't even got names for yet. We've just come up with them, and uh, and I'll tell you what, they look great. Fluorescent, some are glow, dark colors, bright colors, we got them all. So give the Tutso a try next time you're out ice fishing. Oh, I got a fish. Oh, I, I see it. Is it nice? I like it. Oh, it is nice. It's a, it's a little, it's a little blue. Oh, he's oh, a little darker. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Carl switched to that nice dark 
Black Tutso. Black Tutso looks like a size eight with the glow dots on the head. That may be the key. Is it's Matt slippery. Said. Yep. It's one of them dark black Tutsos as opposed to a light black Tutso. There you go, Bob. Hey, not in my hole. That's what they look like. Got him. I don't know what it is, but it feels. Bluegill or what? Crappie? No, this is not a bluegill. If it's a crappie, it's a big one. All right, well, I'll get this out of it. All right. Oh, oh, oh look what at that. Large it's mouth. Large mouth or a small mouth. Get him. I got him. Oh, oh look at him. Right Ooh. on the Wonder Bread. Hey. How about that? Hey, That's man. a good way to wrap yeah. it up. Hey, we got a great day out here with Hayward. We'd like to thank our, our guide buddy, Matt Rowan from Big Fish Encounters. Check him out. You'll be glad you did. And then until next time, hey, it's Walt, Bob, Largemouth, and Papa Carl. Midwest Outdoors will be right back. <laughs>